This could have all been avoided had it not been for her. Her smile. Her eyes. Her hands. Veronica, I would have done anything for her. Anything. Sharita, I already told you, Mom's taking you. What? No, you didn't. Mom's still sleeping. Wish I could be too. Hey, man. How you holding up? Well. Oh. <sighs> hey, we'll talk after school, but we'll talk, okay? So it's very important today's lecture for all of these reasons. All right, now, Malcolm, you're late again. Sorry. As I was saying, don't let it happen again. Today's lecture is going to be on the fear of death. What is it, do you suppose, that makes people inherently afraid of dying? Is it a fear of not knowing what comes next or of ceasing to exist? Is it the constant struggle of emotions? Hello? Good evening, sleepyhead. I have a proposition for you. <coughs> be there at 6 o'clock. Or? Or she dies. I'll be there. Hmm? Right, Malcolm? Yes, the findings offer insight into how victims of post-traumatic stress disorder or depression are unable to control emotional intrusion into their thoughts. So these scientists, Etkin and his colleagues, went on a quest. They wanted to determine whether this region of the brain was responsible merely for monitoring conflict between the cognitive and the emotional processing or for actively resolving that conflict. Okay, well what does all this plainly mean? Dreams, my friends. According to their studies, we dream as a way to resolve conflicts that we otherwise cannot in real life. All right, don't forget page 627 in the textbook. No late work will be accepted, and that goes for you, Stevens. <sighs> Yet again, huh? I just can't stand seeing him like this, you know, over a girl. She wasn't just any girl. She was the girl. Anyway, loss is loss. The whole school mourned, the neighborhood mourned. Everyone suffered. And it was bad for us. You can just imagine how bad it is for him, for them. I know, I know. 
I don't mean to sound heartless. I'm sorry. It's just been so long. I mean, he and Seth were best friends. And now when they need each other more than ever, they can't forgive a mistake? Yes, granted, a huge mistake. One that cost a life. I just want to see him happy again. You just want to see that attractive smile of his again, don't you? Oh, come on, you know the one I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, I know the one. Well, you do miss it. Shut up. We know he'll get home soon. You know how much he loves to sleep nowadays. Let's go, Tara. What are you doing back here? I gotta save her. I think I still have a chance. Malcolm, you know you have to move on. No, I think I can save her. I know I can. Malcolm, this is it. It's over. He has her. You can't save her. I can't do anything else. You already know the ending, Malcolm. He already knows the ending. Where is she? I don't know. Where'd they take her? I don't know. They've left already. Are we ready? Can I start yet? Hey, Malcolm. I heard something through the grapevine. Heard you were coming for me. That's good news. Me and Veronica are more than happy to hear it. Here's the thing. You're late, as always. And Veronica and I, well, we got tired of waiting. In fact, I think she's moved on. Haven't you, Veronica? And so have I. So see you around, punk. The deal is off. So? She wasn't there. It's 6.12. You were late. Thanks. Like, I didn't know that. I knew she wasn't gonna be there. You knew? Of course I knew. Where is she? I'm not gonna tell you! Time flies faster than you can comprehend, or even control for that matter. And your rage only makes it fly faster. But where is she? You only have six hours left, Malcolm. You're running out of time. So then help me! She's at 1742 8th Street. What is it? Malcolm's not invited. Oh. Well, I gotta go. See you later, Seth. All right, see you too. What? Dude, what do you mean, what? Come on. I was just stepping it up, man. I know, but like, Malcolm's not invited? Hey, just stepping it up. If you came along, she would have been taken by your charm anyway. Are you gonna be at the game tomorrow? Good. I can't have my best friend wimping out over a girl. Oh, sorry. The girl. <laughs>
Malcolm, you need to stop. You don't understand. I had her this time. Malcolm, cut it out. You're scaring me. 12.15? Sharita, it's almost 12.47. I need to save her. Malcolm, save who? Veronica? You can't. Quit saying that. She's dead, Malcolm. She's not. I can save her. Malcolm, she died on 1742 A Street in an accident. At 1247, you got her voicemail asking you to pick her up. She was with Seth, remember? We got the message too late. No, stop it. I can save her. Malcolm! She's dead, Malcolm! She's dead! Get out! She's dead! Welcome to the party. You trapped us all, Malcolm. Don't be too loud. Oh, and don't have too much fun. <laughs> Emily, Tara, how do we get out? Are you kidding me? This is all about her, isn't it? This is serious, Tara. How do I find her? You can't save her, Malcolm! I know she's still here. I know she's still alive. And if she's still alive, I still have a chance. Where is she? Where can I find her? She's being held upstairs on the roof. But I've got nothing on me to get you out of those wraps and up to her in time. Malcolm, stop me. Stop it! Just stop it! You're just gonna wind up hurting yourself! You can't save her! Tara, I'm out. Now will you help me? Malcolm, I won't do it. You're crazier than I thought! Tara, just trust me. I know I can save her. No! Malcolm. No! Fine. What's going on? Stop! Ah! 